Hey guys, Santa here. Today, um, I'm going to. Well, looks like Star Wars: The Republic is um doing a new, brand new expansion called Shadow of Raven. That's gonna be pretty cool. Be due to um Raven being one of an amazing Sith. This guy's like utterly amazing. Um, I would try to trade the trailer, but I tried before. They think of second recording attempt, and uh, the video messed up and all that. So yeah. So anyway, one of the things I find interesting here on this is that here we have Raven himself with his mask of craziness. Um, on Joe Minkas does this mission, I guess, for any class really, where you have to join this crazy it's called the Revenites. They're crazy. But yeah, so I guess we're gonna have to kill him or something. I don't know. But Raven, God, this guy looks creepy. Anyway, so um, what I've noticed is that these two characters, the ones from Forged Alliances, are here. And in the trailer, what I saw was that her and Shatio San, the leader, well, some person of the Republic, was pretty cool. Um, I work are alongside, and there's Raven trying to kill them. So yeah. This guy also forgot their names, dang. But anyway, so here's basically this. So Raven has returned. New story driven or digital expansion launches to tip of the knife. In the midst of the ongoing war between the Sith and Empire and the Galactic Republic, a long hidden sect of extremists has revived, led by an animogenic former hero of the Rep Jedi Civil War, Raven. These Revenites are mustering an army of an apoc 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 apocalyptic plan that will lead the Republic and the Empire in ashes. Prepare to face Raven and his fanatical followers as you venture through five new levels of story-driven Star Wars missions, reach new heights of power at an increased level cap of 60, explore exciting new worlds, and fight new high-level multiplayer flashpoints and operations in the digital expansion. Shadow of Raven. So what I find interesting about this is that this is coming out basically... Right after they were working on Galactic Strongholds, which is, I mean, like, whoa, Galactic Strongholds is planned to release October the 14th, so probably by the time you're watching it, it's been released, because why I'm watching it, it's in three days until it does it, so yeah. So, now that you know the info, here's what pre it happens if you pre-order now. You get 12 times the, well, first of all, if you pre-order by November the 2nd, 2014, you get seven days of early ask, uh, um, the, you know, pre-order by November the 2nd, 7 days of early access. You can be the first one to play beginning September the 2nd, 2014. So that's cool. Um, again, if you, so I'm going to just read these first. If you pre-order by November the 2nd, um, with this fact, you get a limited time class XP boost. Subscriber is elusive. With this fast pass to level 55, advance your advance 12 times faster as you immerse yourself exclusively in class story missions. This boost is effective until December the 1st, 2014, slash December the 2nd, 2014, at 7:59. So yeah, basically a whole day of that. That's gonna suck though. Um, a grand, we get a, you get a grand statue of Everett to put in your, uh, it's a centerpiece to put in, um, your stronghold, beginning of the time of the second. And, you get, also, the Rise of the Hulk Cartel, the first ever digital expansion, which I'm obviously gonna have to do, um, before this, so yeah. Anyway, so, the same thing, basically, for anybody who pre-orders by December the 1st, just that you guys don't get every access, $20 to pre-order. So yeah, that too. That's pretty cool though, the subscriber exclusive thing. So here are their key features. Um, embark on an epic new storyline. Um, with full voiceover, so that's going to be cool, full voiceover. And dramatic cinematic moments as you prepare to face Revan. He's the most character powerful. So there he is, basically. He's going to look pretty cool in cutscenes. Is he a woman? Oh no, he can't be. What is this guy actually? Can someone tell me what in the world is this guy's gender? He has a mask, we can barely see him. Um, power up, so we basically all, yay, we get to level 60 instead of 55, so that's cool. And we get to go to two new planets, Rishi and Yavin 4. So what's, so I can't believe that, um, we're going to Yavin 4, basically with a Death Star. He's gonna attack, but that's like 2,000 years in the future on this game. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So, let's read even more key features. 
Fight in new high level flashpoints and operations. Customize character with the new discipline system. Basically, they're going to play skill trees with discipline. I have no idea what that's going to be. We can unlock new gear and reputation awards. We can earn the new Revenite gear, crafting schematics, and new mounts. Ooh, Army Vehicle. Alright. So, yeah. Obviously, it's going to be the update for 3.0 if anyone can hear it. So, they're the AF AFQ. Yeah. But, yeah, basically that. So everybody, that's basically all I want to say. Shadow of Raven. I will hopefully try to pre-order it and get subscriptions so I could showcase like how to beat it with my of a trooper or a Jedi or whatever. I don't really care. But one thing I've heard a rumor of just really care before I wrap this video up that the Imperials and Jedi, like in the trailer, they're gonna have to team up, which is gonna be amazing because well, I mean, have you not watched? Every Star Wars movie, and basically everything Star Wars, the Empire wants to kill the um, Republic. The Republic wants to kill the Empire. This is cool because Raven's going to see them together. But obviously, everyone knows the outcome. This begins 2,000 years. Um, The Empire falls, the Separatists arise. Then after the Separatists come the Imperials again. So, yeah. But, yeah, guys, so thanks for watching. Um, My name is Inter Prime. Subscribe to become a Prime. And, yeah, thank you for sitting down and watch this. This expansion is going to be really cool, I just know it, and hopefully by then, maybe my recording could get up, maybe. If you guys can help me find a new recording system that's good and free. So yeah guys, thanks, and hopefully I will try to record it. 